I go like this, okay? I win, but then I get here and he goes And notice how, how Foz does it. He opens up his legs and he's just slamming them into me, right? All right, from here, there's no way I'm getting underneath his legs, all right? There's a way, but we're not working it tonight, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just say, that's fine. I can't win this battle. I'm going to keep the grip that I have on the pants here. With this hand, I'm going to go ahead and grab his belt. And I need to drop my shoulder below his hip to make this actually work, okay? If I'm like this and I'm trying to fight, my arm's going to get all bent, bent up and stuff. That's no good, okay? It's actually a shoulder lock in you from here. It's real bad, okay? So from here, all I'm doing is I'm driving forward. And this, we did it on no gi on Wednesday. It'd be really easy with the gi if you've done it, you know, if you understand how it works. I'm going to go here. My shoulder comes in. Notice the grip that I have on his pants over here is stronger, okay? Not ideal, but strong. I'm bringing his leg this way. As I bring his leg this way, I take a step over here, I take a step over here. So here my arm comes out, and where's the pressure pod? It's midsection. Midsection, okay? I lift here, I put my knee underneath it. Okay? And however you guys want to finish is fine. The biggest thing is not pass the guard. Most people are going to feel more comfortable passing this arm over here. And then square it up. So. Okay? So, Dan, can I just see what's up? We're working off the same beginning. Don't have to be off this beginning. In fact, we're going to work other entries this week on this pass. And here, I go one. And as I go to do two, I'm just not fast enough. He opens up. Okay? Right here. I'm not going to fight too much. I drop my shoulder down. I have to back up a little bit. Okay? But look what I've got here. I've got a good grip on his pants here. And I've got my shoulder coming into him here. I bring everything back one. I step over to two. I block here. And my arms come out from in the middle there. Right. Very, very simple way to look at this pass. And my pressure never really leaves Danny. It's never like I'm going from my shoulders holding him to I say, okay, a little break now, and then maybe this comes in. You know, it's always a continuous pressure on the guy. That's the biggest thing. Makes sense, guys, it's kind of sort of. It's called over-under pass. I'd like to do two entries tonight if we have time. I want to make sure everybody gets the basic mechanics behind it. It shouldn't be too much trouble. You know, looking around once you guys have done this pass at least once or twice before. Um, but I want to work on some of the key